bro. Go to sleep, bro. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Nineteen. Isn't that kind of young? Well, you have to be married to have sex, so I'm getting married as soon as possible. What do you think sex is like? The awesomest thing ever. How do you know? I just know, bro. I heard it feels like climbing the rope in gym. Who said that? Brian Jensen. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never climbed the rope in gym. On my wedding night, I want to do it ten times. I don't think that's possible. Bro, with God, all things are possible. Back over here, please. Not done. Over here, please. <laughs> good. Hey, I have something to tell you. It's time to cut the cake, kids. Follow me. Can I just have a minute with my wife, please? You will have plenty of time for that later. No, we won't. Why? Are you leaving her? Yes. For Afghanistan. Yeah. Sir, just heard the new orders. Are we really deploying May 19th? Yes, why are you questioning your orders? I'm not questioning them, sir. I'm just, um, I'm asking questions about them. I'm getting married on the 18th. If we leave on the 19th, then I'll miss my honeymoon. Well, those are the orders. Is there anything we can do? Sure, we'll, we'll spawn the mission though. Tell the insurgents not to attack yet. Now, are you done questioning your orders? Because I'm busy following them. Yes, sir. Didn't mean to waste your time, sir. Nick, the next nine months are going to be hell. Make it a night to remember. Yes, sir. Look, we only have an hour, and if you want cake and all that, we have to stay on schedule. Fine. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that you look more beautiful today than anything I've ever seen. That's, that's all. <clears throat> Hi, Daddy. Saw so you leave. Just want to make sure everything's okay. Everything's fine. 
Oh, okay. Well, they needed to cut the cake. Can't cut the cake out here. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know. He's a man who serves his country, a man who loves his family, and most importantly, a man who honors Jesus Christ in his life. And I am certain that he is going to love Mary just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Here's to Nick and Mary. Thanks, Pastor. That was, that was beautiful. All right, all right. Blah, blah. That's enough of that. We got to lighten the mood. One time at Fall Harvest, our churches were not celebrating Halloween. Celebration Nick is in the dunk tank. Pastor Frank. Uh, hits the target, Nick pff, hits the water, and he gets up, and everybody starts laughing, right? Nick's like, oh, do you think it's funny because I'm all wet? So he starts hamming it up, like, oh, look at me, look at me, dipa dipa. <laughs> and he notices everybody's staring at his crotch. <laughs> Those new white trunks. Holy see-through. <laughs> He's not going to show pictures, is he? So Nick. Little brother, for all that he's shown us. <laughs> Nicholas, now that you're married, you can talk about something that wouldn't have been appropriate before. Well, thanks, Grandpa. I'd rather not. Your grandmother and I have been having relations for 45 years and counting. It's a wonderful gift from the Lord, if you use it right. You should have keep that Foreplay. Nicholas, I want to tell you about a special thing called foreplay. Grandma, I don't know what it is. How do you know about foreplay? I read about it. Don't tell me you looked it up on the internet. No, I, I read a book. No pictures. I know what goes on on the internet, and it's not right. But let me tell you what is. Now, foreplay means... Honestly, Grandpa, I'd rather not talk about this. Just listen. Thank me for it later. Now, what it means is, everything you couldn't touch before, you touch. And not just with your hands. Do you know what I mean, Nicholas, when I say not just with your hands? Yes, Grandpa, please don't describe it to me. You want to keep at it for a good long time. Keep her waiting for the grand finale. The longer you wait, the better it'll be. Bye, Daddy. Are you sure you want to do this? Very sure, Daddy. I don't understand why you have to go so far away. What if something happens to you? I'll be fine. Well, if anything happens, you call me, okay? We're not bringing our phones, Daddy. I already told you that. Listen. Remember what we talked about. Thanks for your concern, Daddy. You ready? Hi, baby girl. We'll see each other tomorrow. <laughs> Daddy's crying. He'll be all right. I have to give him a hug. Mary, Mary, please. He's all alone. Just for the night. And then he'll have you back for nine months while I don't. Okay. Cheer up. You just won the son-in-law jackpot. Well, 
hope it works out. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <laughs> you know, now that we're married, we don't have to wait anymore. <laughs> Do you want to? Now? Yeah, the drive's gonna take an hour. Here in the limo? Why not? I thought we'd wait until the cottage. Special. We've waited all this time. We can wait an hour more. Okay. Take it easy. We have all night. I like this place. Feels like a real home. It is. Farmer is his family. Farmer Jack. That was his name? Yeah. He decided to be a farmer because his name was Farmer. His grandson runs it out now, and he leaves these pictures out here so people can remember his grandpa. How do you know all this? I asked. Because of that, you don't want to know. He doesn't look happy. Must not have been his wedding night. Do you think we'll ever live on a farm? I think we don't need to decide tonight. I bet you'd make a good farmer. You have strong hands. What else I can do with my hands? If you were a farmer, what would you grow? Babies. Wait, can we pray first? Of course. Lord, we know that in all things you work for the good of all those who love you. Thank you for the blessings you have given us and for the blessings we're about to receive. In your name we pray, amen. Oh God, we love you so much. Thank you for such a wonderful day. Thank you for all our friends and family. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Guide us as we start this journey together. Give us wisdom. Amen. And protect Nick while he's in Afghanistan. Bring him back to me safely. May your will be done in our lives, Lord. Amen. Amen.
realise what you've interrupted? I'm interrupting? Yes, Scotland's most sacred song. Why are you playing Scotland's most sacred song here? To bring her honour and prosperity, of course. How would you like it if I interrupted your national anthem? What if I run onto the field and punch the singer at one of your so-called football games? It's not the same thing. Oh, damn right it is, isn't it? How often in that sport does a ball actually touch your feet? Doesn't it make more sense to call a sport football when it touches your feet all the freaking time? And what soccer mean? That's not a sport. That's what you do when Granny won't shut a trap. Look, you're more than welcome to play your song somewhere else. No, it has to be here. Why? It's what I mean paid to do. No, that, that can't be right. Oh, it better be. If he doesn't pay me, I'll beat the shite out of him. No, I mean, you must be at the wrong place. No, this is the right place. Well, you can ask him your sentence back there. <laughs> oh, oh uh, <laughs> you should see your face, bro. What are you doing? Is that hot? I can't hear you over all the laughter on YouTube. This is my wedding night. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna go. As soon as he finishes his song, which as you can see, ooh, he's quite passionate about. Oh, bro. Bro, don't be like Come on, man, you gotta admit, this is funny. All right, you can go now. This marriage is hereby blessed by His Grace, the Duke of Argyle, Earl of Campbell, as administered by his officer, Liam McTavish. May this union bring peace and happiness to these two people and the great nation of Scotland and her allies. I added that last part for you. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Have a pleasant evening. Enjoy your wedding present, bro. Sorry about that. Does he think that's okay? Well, you see, he's my brother. Windows do not open. Okay. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, we could stay the night out here on the patio. What if someone sees us? We're in the middle of nowhere. Your brother found us easy enough. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the woods. Yeah. Or we could go back to town and get a nice hotel. Oh, how, how are we going to get there? No, but that, that, that'll take another hour. Wouldn't that be better than spending the night in the cold? Okay, look, there's got to be a barn or something around here, right? God will provide. Maybe he already did. Maybe we're not supposed to stay here tonight. Ah! <laughs> Go back, laddie! Don't be afraid! It's supposed to feel that way! <laughs> well, that was pretty dumb of you guys to lock yourselves out. Oh, good thing I was here. What is that? You touch that, I'm gonna kick you in the shake pipe. I don't need extra motivation not to touch it. Two are brothers. 
I always wish I had a brother. You know, someone to fight alongside with or, or even with. That's much better than being on your own. Or worse, with girls. Well, unless it's to, you know. Are you mad? No. Then why aren't you talking? What do you want me to talk about? It's lame if you're mad, bro. I just want to get to a hotel. Okay? Fine. Did you two ever have a really good fight when you were lads? You know, really punch each other ugly? <sighs> Never. Not even once. We weren't allowed to fight. Well, nobody's allowed to, but you do it anyway. You beat each other till it's out of your system, then you share a pint and it's all better. I had to fight me mates. I can't imagine the joy of sharing something like that with my own flesh and blood. Well, anyway, that's how it's supposed to go. A few times it got a bit bad, so we had to make ground rules. No weapons of any kind, no scratching any eyes, and no poking a finger up the arse. Will you please stop? What? We clearly don't want to talk about this. It's a long ride. I thought we'd get to know each other. Let's talk about something else. In other words, let's not get to know each other, eh? You've caught us off guard. Getting to know someone new is not what we expected for our wedding night. It's an unexpected benefit. You are clearly unaware of the value of the Duke's blessing. You got that right. Well, to be as conversing with these two is a waste of time. How about you, lassie? How did you come to meet this untalkative gentleman? It could be his textbook. It's definitely a Bible. Which could be his textbook. But he's not taking notes. So? I read textbooks without taking notes all the time. He seems interested. If it was for class, he'd be bored. I think you're only saying that because you're interested? I'm gonna go talk to him. Don't. Pray for me. Do not wake him up until love so desires! What are you reading? The Bible. Is that for class? No. It's not for class, then why read it? Because I want to learn. Why? Because I think it's important. So you can know what all the crazy Christians believe and attack them? What? No, wh why would you think that? Well, you're just sitting here reading, not talking to anybody. How am I supposed to know what you're thinking? So what about you? You read the Bible? Maybe. Maybe. You do or you don't. Maybe I don't want to tell you. Why? Because I don't know your intentions. Who are you? I'm someone who wants to know why you read the Bible every morning. Because? I want to know the Word of God so I can live my life for Him. Is that what you're waiting for? Interesting. I don't believe I've ever heard that one before. Nick has a lot of unique qualities. Yeah, like being a total butt face. Shut up, Toad. Hey, dude, check it. I'm getting mad hits on YouTube. Oh, bro, you are the only one who does not think this is funny. Okay, we're gonna get to Everett soon. You can have your precious wedding night. Everett? We're going to Ferndale. These guys gotta get to Everett. You told me we were going to Ferndale. Okay, well, it's getting late. That's why we have to get to Ferndale. Yeah, before he goes to sleep. How long will that take? Another hour. You can go to Ferndale tomorrow. I'll, I'll buy your bus ticket. No! We're going now. It's the only reason I took this job. Plans change. Well, I'll play my bagpipes until you surrender. All right, hey, hey, hey. Uh, Liam, hey, la, 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 la. Liam, let's, uh, let's talk about this. All right, all right. We'll go to Ferndale. Thank you. We're going to Ferndale. Bro, no. It's just an hour. An additional hour? Yes. What do you want me to do? He's gonna play his stupid bagpipes if we don't. Correction. 
I will play my beautiful bagpipes. If you didn't like them, then the fault is with your ears. We'll just get a hotel in Ferndale. We can't. Why? I don't have my wallet. I thought you always kept it in your back pocket. I left it in my bag so I wouldn't look like Uncle Turdpants in the pictures. But then how would we get a hotel in Everett? Well, your dad has my bag. I, I can get it from him. You should be awake still, right? I don't know. I'd hate to bother him. Toad, mm. if you dropped us off in Ferndale, could we borrow some money for a hotel? Maybe. If somebody else lends it to you. I spent all my cash on your, uh, your wedding blessing. Liam, could you loan us some money? Oh, I'm sorry, lassie. But it's already been deposited. I carry neither cash nor card in case I am robbed by bandits. I'll just have to wait till I've heard. You know, after we drop him off, it'll only be another 45 minutes. <laughs> You're not dropping me off. I need to ride back after my working Ferndale's through. Well, how long will that take? Not long. About half an hour. But this is our wedding night. Whatever you have to do, can't it just wait till tomorrow? No. What could possibly be so important? Fulfilling my father's dying wish. I would have told you about it if you tried to get to know me. What's the wish? That I bring a gift to his old friend Hamish. Moved here 50 years ago. Dad wanted to see Hamish more than anything. Due to his health, he couldn't travel. So, on his deathbed, he charged me with bringing Hamish a gift. What is it? Something to remember him by. My father has been telling me stories about Hamish my entire life. He always said that I should meet him someday. And now, today is someday. Wait, wait, wait. We have to stop. Why? I mean, we have to make sure we don't go too far. We won't. A lot of people say that, but then they do. We're just kissing. I know, but we're alone. So? So? It makes me feel like doing things that we shouldn't do before we're married. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it because if I say it, it'll make me want to do it even more. Uh, I should go. Wait. What did you mean by before we're married? You know, <laughs> we're not married. Right, I know. That's not what you said. You said before we're married. Does that mean you want to marry me? <laughs> I didn't mean that. So you don't want to marry me? No, I didn't mean that either. Well, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I just, I mean, I have been thinking about it. Well. What have you been thinking about it? What do you mean? I mean, when you think about it, do you think you would want to marry me or you wouldn't want to marry me? What's it matter? You don't think it matters whether or not you want to marry me? No, I meant... Why are you asking me all this? Because I want to marry you. <laughs> really? Because I want to marry you too, I just... I didn't know if you wanted to marry me. Really? So are we engaged? No, no, I'm not yet. I have to talk to your dad. Well, if we know we want to get married, then what's it matter? I want to do it right. There's nothing in the Bible that says, thou shalt ask her dad awkward questions. Let's just be engaged. Won't he be upset? You can talk to him later. The important thing is, you have my permission. Alright then. We're engaged. <laughs> I should go. Why? All that stuff I wanted to do earlier? Yeah, being engaged just makes me want to do it a whole lot more. Well, now we know we can someday. Yeah. 
someday. I'm here, Father. I'm here. Whatever happens, follow my lead. Hello, laddie. Is this the residence of Hamie Sinclair? Yeah. Might I see him? What's this about? He and my father were friends in Scotland. When they were your age, I would very much like to see him. Come in. We got visitors. Hello. Have a seat. Grandpa? Get out of my room! I'm not in your room, I'm in the doorway. Get out of my doorway! Somebody's here to see you. I and I told him to get out. No, not me. Somebody from Scotland. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's even got one of those dresses. First rate whiskey. You don't just numb I have no clue what that means, Grandpa. What part are you from then? Fort William, sir. Oh, eh. Hey, Same as myself. What's your name? Liam. Liam? Do they still have the habit of giving surnames in Fort William? I do, sir. You recognize my surname as it is my father's. I know your father. You knew him, sir. He passed a year ago. Sorry to hear that. Who was he? A carpenter. The best in town. Glad to hear it. Be gladder to hear his name. Well, before I tell you that, sir, can I ask you if you remember another name? Moira Garvey? Of course. The maiden name of my dear wife. Gone these 13 years. What kind of a question is that? Can you tell me the story of how you two met? I thought I was going to talk to a heathener, not a heckler. My father's name was Ian McTavish, who was your best friend when you were lads. And Moira Gavi was to be his own dear wife before you took her. I ran away to America. He was drunk a year straight after that. No one thought he would recover, but do you know what he did? He found himself a better wife, and with her, he made a better life. And he raised a son who he taught the value of loyalty. And as he lay dying, he mustered all the strength left in his frail body to make you something. And he asked me to deliver it. What be that? It's done, Father! You pissed on old Hamish just like you wanted!
Dad, Grandpa whizzed his pants again. Let's get out of here. What about him? I don't think he wants us here anymore. But he's covered in- Oh, watch out! We are so sorry. We did not know he was going to do that. I have to give Grandpa a bath now. Whoever you are, you ruined my night. Is everybody okay? Ow! I saw what you did. It's not our fault. We didn't. We didn't know. We... Fuck it. Are you okay? No, it's okay. I'm fine. It just stings a little. Toad? Liam? Where are we going? Away from here. Are we gonna walk to Everett? Nope. Then how will we get there? God will provide. Do you think he doesn't want us to have sex nope. tonight? Are you sure? Very sure. Why? He wouldn't do that to us. But we're stranded. No, we're not. We're at our honeymoon suite. I don't know why all this has happened to us tonight, but this isn't what we waited for. So it's time to stop waiting. In the woods? Like Adam and Eve in the garden. We'll find a way back later. Maybe all this craziness is God's way of telling us it's okay to do something crazy. I didn't want it like this. I didn't either. But I also didn't want to bring Liam to that house. And I didn't want to get locked out of ours. And I don't want to go to Afghanistan. God doesn't always give us everything we want. But you know what he has given us? Honeymoon sweet. Won't we be cold? Oh, no. much of a choice. Where's the car? It was gone when I came out. Leon must have taken it. Okay, well, we're gonna stay the night here, so if you could just move along. Uh, you're ditching me? You're the one that ran away? Is that a gun? A BB gun. Shh. He will hear you. I outran him, but he's probably not far. Well, there's plenty of woods here, so if you could just go find your own hiding spot. I cannot believe you're abandoning me. My car got stolen. Well, my wedding night was stolen. Shh. Listen. Liam. He's calling us. Oh, better hurry. The kid will hear it too. You go ahead and we're going to find another way back. Okay? Seriously? What? Yeah. Hold on. Can we talk about this? We waited long enough. But in another hour, we could be in a nice hotel. We don't need a hotel. We've got our honeymoon suite. What if that kid comes back? Or an animal? What if something else happens with Toad? Nick, please. We're so close. Okay, let's go. Liam! We thought you left us! 
you clearly did not listen to the follow my lead part. Oh, shut up. Hurry. I go get your wallet from Daddy. You don't want me to come? Well, that's not what I meant. Okay, then I'll come. You don't have to do that. Well, it's buried down in my bag. It'll take you a while to find. You know what? I'll just go get the wedding gift money. It'll be with the other presents. Is your dad okay? He's fine. Why would you say that? He just seemed pretty tense today. I don't know him very well, but, you know, it seemed like something was wrong. Nothing's wrong. I'll explain what happened, and he will understand. You don't tell him about Liam. You might stress him out. Nick, we have nothing to hide from my father. about all the wonderful qualities of your new son-in-law? Yes, I imagine that would keep you up a long time. Oh, good night. Well, I'm not turning in yet. I'm just going out for a snack for Nora and I. We like to eat between rounds, you know, keep the energy up. Good luck with that. Luck has nothing to do with it. It's all by the grace of God. Okay. I know you do not like my grandson. Why is that? I wouldn't say I don't like him. The fact is, I hard to know him. Then you should get to know him. I've tried. He's always busy. Well, serving our country is a lot of work. Yes. He seems to love the Army so much that he's leaving her to be with them. Duty calls. What do you expect him to do? How about wait till he gets back? He didn't have to rush. There's only one reason why he'd want to marry her before he goes. It's a bit late to be worrying about that, don't you think? Did you know he didn't ask for my blessing before he proposed? He just charged right in? Knowing what I know of you, I might have done the same thing. Yes, have it delivered to room 613, please. Thank you. Gosh, why is this car so heavy?
I'm so worried about my baby girl. I'm even hearing her voice. Please keep her safe. Keep her safe from him, Lord. Who is this man, Lord, who I've given my daughter? What are his intentions? Did I give my innocent sheep to a wolf? What's going to happen, Lord Jesus? What are they doing right now, Lord God? I'm afraid to even think about it, Lord. Protect my baby girl tonight. Especially if they... Baby girl! Daddy! Don't freak out. What did he do to you? Nothing. Oh, thank God. Oh, we got locked out. So we came into town. We just need money. I'll see you later. Wait! Where is he? Outside. He sent you in here alone to sneak in and steal money? It's our money, Daddy. Then why the sneaking? I, I didn't want to disturb you. You better stay here while I get this straightened out. There's nothing to straighten out. Daddy, I have to get back to Nick. Well, I'm going with you. You don't have to do that. I have to make sure you're okay. I am okay. And there's no harm in checking. Think of the pipes. You have the long, firm quality of the pipe and the small, opening quality of the pipe. You pop the two together and, well, you see? Once again, I know what to do. Leg positions. Liam, you don't have to wait with me. You can go wherever you're going. Nonsense. No one should be alone on that wedding night. Come on, lad. Mary won't know where I am. We'll come back. No, I, ha I have to stay. Loyalty. Good man. Remember the pipes. See, he's right here. He's abandoned you. You're disgraceful. Hey. How dare you talk that way to my daughter? Calm down, Daddy. No! My baby girl is not disgraceful. She is a precious, beautiful flower. Oh, well, she didn't do anything directly. But she was with the guy who did. And that's enough. What did he do? Hey! You guys already got us back. This has gone far enough. No, it hasn't. My grandpa told me what you did. How you held him down. And even though he fought mightily, his strength was no match for your unfair advantage in numbers. Okay, that's not true. Look, we were just as surprised as you guys were. There's no excuse. We're here to even the score. Liam already left. Then there's more for you. This one's very popular with the ladies. I'll take it. I want to smell real good for my wife on our wedding night. Nick has to borrow some of your clothes, okay? What happened? What did you do? It was a misunderstanding, Daddy. Everything's fine. That kid out there didn't think everything was fine. Did you get in a fight? Nick needs to take a shower, Daddy. No, we need to talk about this. What kind of man gets in a fight on his wedding night? I'll explain everything. Go ahead. Don't use my shaving kit. Daddy! What did he do? Nothing, Daddy. We gave someone a ride and he pulled a prank on them. That boy said he was violent. He's wrong, Daddy. None of that happened. I was there. Are you lying to protect him? Don't you dare lie to me. This is serious business. Daddy, please don't do this. It's already been a hard night. You said he was a nice Christian man. This is not the behavior of a nice Christian man. He's a good man, Daddy. You'll see. Or you'll see that he's not the man you think he is. That he rushed you into marriage just so he could have his way with you. I don't want to talk about that anymore, Daddy. I've told you a million times. Why else would he rush the wedding? What's going to happen when he gets back? I read an article on the internet about a man who went to Afghanistan, came back, and forgot he was married. I'll write him letters so he won't forget. He won't be reading letters. He'll be shooting guns and getting in fights. Look what happened tonight. It wasn't a fight. Then why did they pour tinkle water on him? Daddy, I'm already married. Trying to talk me out of it won't help anymore. Yes, you're married. But remember... If the marriage isn't consummated, then you can have it annulled. Oh my gosh. And it wouldn't be a sin, it would be like it never happened. Stop, Daddy. Well, if you won't listen to me, then listen to God. You were locked out of the cottage, baby girl. It's a sign. Just 
Give it some time. Let him prove himself. I can't hear you. I'll go off to the army. We'll see how it goes when he comes back. I still can't hear you. I just don't want you to get hurt, baby girl. You don't have to do that. You, you can stay here. Excuse me? Well, there's two beds. <laughs> we'll get our own room. But it's so late and you're already here. Just stay here. Thanks anyway, Daddy. I can't let you go outside with those horrible people out there. Relax. But what if they come back? What if they have another bucket? Then we'll get a room here. But that's silly. You already have a room here. Daddy, Nick and I are going to step outside and discuss this. He's gonna come out and see if I'm okay. We can't leave without telling him. I did tell him. I said we're stepping outside. I said nothing about stepping back in. Well, won't he be mad? I know how to deal with my father. Wait, wait, wait. What about the money? doing this. It'll work out. God will provide. Well, so far he's provided a whole lot of... I know it doesn't seem like it now, but someday we'll look back on all of this and laugh. It'll be a funny story to tell our kids. Kids? What kids? How are we going to have kids if we don't have sex? The night isn't over yet. We have to go back to your dad. We can't do that. Mary, what is going on with him? While you were in the shower, we had an argument. About what? I don't want to talk about it. Tonight is not about him. I'll deal with him tomorrow. Well, what if I talk to him? No. Why not? He doesn't know you well enough to listen to you. That's just how he is. Then what do we do? What about your brother? No, he won't help. Is there anybody else? My grandparents. They'd let us use the room. They're right by your dad. We can't go there. Mary, what is going on? Let's just find some woods or a barn or something. It'll be an adventure. Should we try the marina? We didn't try this one yet. There's nothing down there but that church. Where 
God was leading us. Why? So we can, uh, you know. In church? Sex is a gift from God. Maybe he wanted to remind us. What do you think? Can we pray about it? Lord, let us know what we should do. I think you led us here for a reason, but if I'm wrong, show us a sign. Amen. Amen. I haven't seen any signs yet. Well, I think we know what we have to do then. Jesus, what do I do? I've looked everywhere. I can't find her. Is that your dad? Lead me to her, Lord God. Please show me the way. Let's go. He's gonna see us. Oh, we can't. I've checked every hotel. They're not there. But they have to be somewhere, Lord God. Somewhere. Where? Where has he taken her? What has he done to her? Protect her, Lord God. Save her from him. Who knows, Lord Jesus, what wicked intentions he has. What is he talking about? But Lord, I know you are mighty. Mighty even over the lustful desires of men. So Lord, I ask that you stretch out your powerful arm and thwart him. May this night pass with no union between them. Confound his plans, darken his path, smite his loins, make his labor unfruitful, raise up a wall of protection around my sweet baby girl. Send your guardian angels to her aid, Lord God, I beg of you. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear my prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give my dear grandson the joy and fulfillment he so rightfully deserves. Bless him, O oh Lord, bless him abundantly.
Lord, we know you do not hear the prayer of sinners. You hear the prayer of those who find favor in your eyes. And you do not favor those who seek your favor selfishly. Your favor, Lord God, rests on those who care for the needs of others more than their own. And those who are wise enough to discern what those needs actually are. Lord God, may you strike down those who do not act according to your will. Yes, God, that would be great. May your anger burn against them. Amen. Stop. Both of you, stop praying. Where is she? What have you done? Calm down. She's right here. Come on. Don't look at me, Daddy. I will guard the door. No one will come in till you come out. You have my word. Well, we should get started. Wait. We need to talk. We finally have a hotel room to ourselves, and you want to talk? Don't you think we should? No. Look, Mary, I know this is hard, but we have to talk about this. About what? Your dad! What is wrong with him? Nothing. Then why would he say all that? It's just gonna take him a while to adjust. No, it's not just that. What does he have against me? You married his daughter. Okay, then why didn't he say anything before? Why, why now? Look. I don't always know why he does what he does, okay? But I do know I don't like the way you're talking about him. Mary, this is nothing against you. Yes, it is. He's my father. You say something about him, then you say something about me. Well, he's saying things about me, and I'm your husband. He doesn't mean it. In time, he'll realize you're not going to hurt me. Why would he think I would hurt you? He's just worried, that's all. He doesn't actually believe it'll happen. Well, sure sounds like he believes it. Asking God to thwart me? Seems to be working, by the way. Just give it some time. I don't have time. I'm leaving tomorrow, and then you're going to be alone with him. Then what's he going to say about me? Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm saying we shouldn't let this go. We have to talk to him. He won't listen. He has to. We can't have this. Well, what about your brother? <laughs> Who said anything about my brother? You didn't. He interrupted our wedding night, and you didn't confront him. No, that was just it was a prank. On our wedding night? Why didn't you say anything? I, I said something. You complained, but you didn't confront. He's my older brother. He's not gonna... He's not gonna listen. See? You're right. Thank you. We have to talk to them both. We can't change them. But we can't let them know where we stand. Now? This can't wait nine months. Done already? Maybe give it another try. the hell, bro? Uh, you woke me up to stare at me? That's weird. Look. What you did was not cool. What did I do? Interrupting us at the cottage. That, that, that was not cool. A hundred likes on YouTube say otherwise. 
being cool like what people think is cool. I mean, you can't do that anymore. I know. Okay. It's not just, it's not just about that. Okay, well, what's it about? Look, I know you're my older brother, but I'm married now. So? So I'm not your punching bag anymore. So, now that you're married, you think you're better than me. <laughs> is, that, is that what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it is. You've got all this attention going to your head, and actually, I'm the only one keeping you in check. Well, I don't want you to do that anymore. I'll do what I want. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Well, this is stupid. Get out. No, we're not done. No, I say get no. out. To me, you started. No, this. you started this because you got married before me. Now everyone says that I'm a loser. Because I don't have it all figured out. Like Mr. Golden Boy. Okay. I'm not better than you. Just luckier. Oh. So, so even God likes you better. Are people really saying all that? Or are you just saying that yourself? Your day will come, bro. You need a minute? Trust me. But he doesn't trust you, that's the problem. I'm asking you to trust me. Okay? Okay. We need to talk. I will speak with my daughter. Alone. No, sir. You'll not. Aside from the obvious. I know we haven't had a chance to get to know each other, but I want to reassure you that I'm going to treat Mary well. I hear words, but I see actions. You attack people. You try to steal money and run. That's not true. Things happen at night, and I can see why you'd be worried, but it's not true. You think I'm wrong? You think the problem is me? Yes, sir. You want me to just step aside so you can have your way with my daughter? I think there's no need to fight. We're on the same team. Yeah, again, words. What about actions? What have I done to make you so suspicious of me? Let's talk about what you haven't done. You never talked to me. You snuck around and wooed my daughter behind my back. There was never a chance to talk to you. Yeah, right, because you're so busy with the army. I asked Mary a hundred times, when do I get to talk to this guy? But it's always he's busy. And then he proposed without even asking for my blessing. What kind of man does that? Man who has something to hide, that's what I say. Well, yeah, the engagement was spontaneous, but then, then I wrote you a letter. Letter? What letter? The letter asking for your blessing. I think I would have remembered a letter like that. I never got any letter from him, sweetie. Don't you let him fool you with his eyes. You were afraid I'd learn about you, weren't you? You knew I'd find out you're not who everyone thinks you are. You're just another sex-crazed boy trying to take advantage of my sweet little girl. Well, you can't hide anymore. The light of truth has exposed you. You're right. I have been hiding something. I am. Um, 
I'm an idiot. I've been hiding my stupidity. I didn't realize how important it was to talk to you, and I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Daddy, he's lying. I knew it! He's not the one who's been hiding something. I am. You wanted to see him. I said, he's busy. He wanted to see you. And I said, he's busy. He wrote you a letter. And I ripped it up. Why? Every boy that ever wanted to date me, you scared away. The ones with bad intentions. All of them, Daddy. You scared them all away. And I met Nick. I loved him so much. Maybe I shouldn't have lied, but I, I couldn't stand the thought of losing him. So you did think it was important to talk to me? That means you were lying just now. Because that's the kind of man he is. The kind that would do anything to protect me. See? He's just like you. Why rush the wedding? Why not wait? I didn't want Mary to wonder what would happen when I came back. I wanted her to know that I'm hers forever. I'd like to be alone right now. Daddy. I'm all right. Please, go. He's gonna scare me away, okay? Not your dad, not anyone. And I'm not going anywhere. Except to Afghanistan, but you know what I mean. Thank you. I'm refreshing up. <laughs> Don't take too long. I'll be alright. Grandpa? Mary's father is here. He says he's giving you two a ride to the base? Yeah, yeah, in the morning. It's morning. God, why?
Wait. I spent some time in prayer. Yeah, we know. And I want to say that this marriage has my blessing. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll be in the car. Daddy. I love you. I love you too, Mary. Wait, before you say anything, I have to apologize. For what? You were right. If we had a limo or the woods. Okay, it's not your fault. It was God's will. You really think so? Yeah. Why would he do that? I don't know, but I have an idea. Maybe he wanted me to learn that you're the most amazing woman on the planet. That if you can handle last night, you can handle anything. And when I get back, I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Not something worth waiting for. did not get the chance to say a proper goodbye last night. So I thought I'd catch you here. Well, you caught us. I happened to see you passing by in the wee hours, leaving the church with some others. I take it you did not do what you'd hoped to do? Unfortunately. Aye. Sometimes the timing of things is not what we expected. Well, thanks for coming to see us, Liam. Good luck out there. Wait! Before you go, I wanted to thank you for helping me last night. So I made you something. Don't you worry, there's no piss. It's pipes. Something to remember me by. Morning, Nick. Morning, sir. Ready for war? Yes, sir. Well, you're gonna have to wait. Sir? We're delayed until tomorrow. We have to re-inspect the transport planes. Apparently, they're missing some pipes. Permission to leave my post and come back tomorrow, sir. Well, there's still work to do. Take it away.
Thank you.